All right, if you're looking for a video about how to maintain a relationship, this is not the right video or channel for you. But when it comes to getting a girlfriend, I'm pretty familiar with the process because I've done it so many times. Basically, you gotta build up attraction, you have to find someone that you're gonna stay attracted to, but also who's gonna be your friend where you have that personality connection as well. Chances are, if you're watching this video, you're probably capable of getting a girlfriend right now, but it's probably not the girl that you wanna be dating. So if you wanna get a hot girlfriend that's got a great person personality as well, what you need to do is you need to find situations that are going to help you win. A lot on this channel I talk about getting girls at bars and clubs and you can certainly get a girlfriend there. That's very possible but it's not the best environment for that because it doesn't build a very very good foundation. Um, a lot of times she just likes you because of your charisma, you have good game or you're good looking or whatever it is. But in these other environments that I'm gonna give you they can actually get to know you and you're actually gonna be more attractive in these environments over time. So what do I mean by this? I think that the best, one of the best places, this is just one example, is where you, if you're regularly seeing somebody, like you see them again and again, that's probably a good place for you to get someone that you're gonna be seeing more long term. So if this is someone you're meeting through your friends, like let's say you hang out regularly with this group of friends and she just happens to tag along sometime, well, that's probably an option for you as well. But there are other ways if you don't have a whole lot of friends or if you don't have groups or you're not meeting women through your friends or your job, um, there are certain things that you can sign up for that will give you that. So um, there's a lot of group activities that you can do during the week that are like a lot of people do for hobbies, for hobbies or something like that. Intramural sports are really good where you're playing an activity and you get to know somebody through there. You're meeting every single week. Um, dance classes are really good, like salsa, tango, whatever you want, swing. Uh, those are really good as well. You can do cooking classes. You can do, uh, I don't know, bartending classes. Something where you're meeting regularly during the week. Um, I also really like improv, too. Improv is also pretty great that you can go to as well. There's These are very female-dominated areas. And volunteer activities, too. I think volunteer activities might be the best one out of all of these. I've heard about certain volunteer groups where literally you sign up, and within a month, you'll get a girlfriend. Now the reason why a lot of guys get a girlfriend in these groups so quickly is because they're, when, it's, when it's a female dominated group, men become more of a scarce resource and your mate value goes up. If you're in an environment like I was for years where you're taking a bunch of, like in college I was doing physics, that's, I was going to lecture every single week but it was all dudes. All of them were dudes, I met no chicks through my classes and because of that it was really tough for me to find someone who would be my girlfriend or something like that. At the time I would have been down for a girlfriend. But at that time it was very tough. Now if I was in an environment where there was more uh, girls than guys, which I have been in in the past, there's been places where I've been in where I was like, these girls were checking me out and they like wanted to date me and they wanted to do all this stuff. If I hadn't been part of that group or if I hadn't been like a scarce resource, they would never have batted an eye at me. So if you're in these groups, you're going to find girls that are going to be interested in you. Especially like let's say, let's take volunteer groups for example. And you guys are like, you go out to a park and you're picking up trash every single week. Okay, or you're maybe you're helping out with the elderly or whatever it is. These caring jobs are also really good because it shows a good side of your personality. And they think, oh, this guy's a really good guy. He's helping people out. Um, and then you're meeting a good girl too who's also into that sort of thing where she's helping people, she's compassionate. These are all really great, these are all really great qualities um, in, a, in a girlfriend or a boyfriend. In these groups, you're going to start to see some girls that are like, you know, checking you out or that are interested in you that are staying after to talk to you and that sort of thing and then you know find which girl that you gel with the most and then obviously you know you want to start going out on dates when this happens don't get too eager a lot of guys because they're looking for a girlfriend they think that oh women are looking for commitment women are looking for a guy to settle down with Yes, they are, but if you declare that too quickly, they're going to think that you're either settling for them or you couldn't find somebody better. And they're going to think that, oh, okay, maybe I'm getting with a guy who's not really as good as I thought he was. So a lot of times guys will, you know, they'll dive right in. They'll say, yeah, I'm looking for a girlfriend and, you know, I'm looking for someone who's really great and or I'm looking for someone to settle down with. That kind of indicates to them that they're settling or that they're going to ditch them later on or they haven't. They've just, they're kind of sick of being single and that's the decision that they're making. It's, it's, not, it's not a very good foundation in their eyes. So what you want to do in this scenario is wait for the girl to bring this up where she's going to bring up like a relationship 
or something more long term or something like that. She's going to bring this up like, you know, what are you looking for? Uh, where do you see this going? That sort of thing uh, is, you know, what do you think about getting married or that kids, th that sort of thing. If they bring that up, say, yeah, that's really, really important for me. Actually, it's probably one of the most important things. And ultimately, I, I really do you know, want to have a family and settle down and do all that stuff. But I think it's also really important to find someone that has the same values as me, someone who I can stay attracted to, stay into for a really long period of time, who I really, really enjoy, enjoy their company and who I think is going to you know, be a good person and help me out. So I think that's also important as well. But yeah, I'm definitely really looking for someone to settle down with ultimately. Now, what you did there was you showed that it's really, really important for that to happen to you, but you're not necessarily saying, hey, I'm settling for you or I'll just take whatever comes my way. You're telling her that you're a high value person and that high value uh, is going to carry over into her decision making process. She's going to want to be your girlfriend more. The story that women, I think a lot of times are looking for, and this is not every girl, but uh, a lot of them I find they're looking for a guy who didn't necessarily want to commit but was so in love with them or I was so into them or wanted to be with them so badly that he was that he did it, that he only wanted to be with them and didn't want to be with other people because she, uh, the guy was so into her. So you kind of have to play that role a little bit in this scenario. So don't dive in right away. You're going to be seen as needy and lower value. Use the answer that I use or some variation of it, and that's going to indicate to her that you're a high value person, you're looking for the best option, and she wants to be that best option. She wants to be with the high value guy. So play that role, find a group activity that you really like, maybe that's a hobby or something that you can be good at. That's something that you're gonna keep going to every single week, because a lot of times people sign up for these things and they just kind of give up and they don't do them anymore. Um, this will take you about a month to find like at least a, a couple girls that are interested in, probably three or four. I would say if you really want a girlfriend, do something, do a hobby or an activity that you know is female dominated for about six months. Maybe like a volunteer activity. I think volunteer activities are the best. That's the recipe for getting a hot, awesome girlfriend. Also, if you guys have any other ways that you think would be good to get a girlfriend, please put them in the comment section below. This is not the only way, but I think it's a way that really works and I've seen it work with a lot of other people. Thanks a lot, you guys. If you made it to then consider subscribing. I come out with videos like this every single week. If you're interested in my mentorship one-on-one -on -one coaching program, hit me up on email, thesingleguy2017 at gmail.com. Thanks a lot. Good luck out there, you guys.